one wondered what Hassett's tactics would be. Four overs from the fast bowlers cost 17 runs, and that decided him. He had Iverson and Johnson on quickly. And Washbrook, quite soon, is caught a short leg off Johnson. That was 32 for one. So long as Hutton remained, one felt that all must be well. Simpson was run out by Harvey, and then Compton joined Hutton. Compton takes a single off Iverson. And here's a brilliant bit of cricket. Compton is only just home as Lindwall throws the wicket down from square leg. Hutton reaching 50 here. Has it puts hole on, who surprisingly bowled him in the first innings. And now, when all is virtually over, comes light relief. Hassett takes the ball and, as a drizzle drives the spectators under the stands, the last ten runs come in an atmosphere of friendly merriment, with the Australians anticipating the final stroke and grabbing prematurely at the stumps. All very disorderly, you may think. Well, perhaps one has to have been there at Melbourne to experience the sudden break from tension and to understand the tremendous relief that Australia's record run of success had ended at last. Captain Unity doesn't worry about souvenirs. The final glory belongs to him. The last scoreboard with Hutton appropriately enough, not out of the air. And now the crowd let go of their feet. There was tremendous enthusiasm 